Hello, welcome to Read with English Tongue, an English tongue channel that serves you to learn English language smoothly, easily, step by step, in order to grow. Here we clarify, adjust, and teach honestly. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Hello, everybody. I hope you are doing well. Well, today, listen, is going to finish the next passages. So, by today, listen, we are going to um, finish with the with half of the story of Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. But before moving to the new passages, it's important to recapitulate, to conclude what did you learn, what did you read, what did you summarize concerning the previous passage, because this will help us to give us a key to move on to the next passages and being updated to understand what is going on concerning the events. As you know, though, we started the story of Ali Baba by the description, his job as a woodcutter, poor life, but at the end, really, we realize that he is a great man. You still remember that Ali Baba was badly treated by his, by his brother Qasim, a close member of the family that is a great issue that we can discuss it even right now concerning our societies. But let us just skip now but, uh, concerning, just focus on the story and we will open the discussion concerning that later on. Now I said that Ali Baba was poor, was badly treated by his uh, brother uh, Al Qasim. And uh, you still remember that when Ali Baba was in the forest and saw the horsemen, the forty men, the thieves, and he climbed out the tree and he was lending his air to listen what and what, what happened. And he discovered later on that thieves really put and take gold they stole in that cave. And you still remember when Ali Baba went down from the tree that he climbed to hide, to hide, or to hide from the thieves in order to see him, of course. And you still remember when Ali Baba used the magic words and get into the cave. And he was amazed by the gold, silk, and jewelries. And he decided to take some of it to his family. It means to himself, to his wife, and son. And you, I, you still remember that Ali Baba felt that is right, since he steals something um, belonging to thieves. Right? He thought that that is right, or he's right. Anyway, as you know, that Ali Baba took that gold to the house, but he's wife committed a mistake yes i i consider it as a mistake because she was in a rush and she decided to, to weigh the amount of the gold that's why she addressed or went to uh, uh, al qasim uh, wife qasim's wife uh, house and asked for the scales scales balance balance in order to weigh the gold that ali baba got from that cave but uh, uh, qasim's wife was was uh, as you know uh, bad and of course jealous and oh she was suspicious uh, she was suspicious about why weighing or why she is in need of scales that's why uh, when she asked Ali Baba's wife the, the, the last one uh, pretended that she wants to weigh meat and that was uh, uh, of course not true she told lies because uh, Pasim's wife raised the question how could Ali Baba and his wife got or get meat? They are poor. So why they are in need of the scales? So this question kept his mind or her mind thinking. That's why she told her husband Al Qasim. Then she tricked Ali Baba's wife by putting honey in one of the pans concerning the scale. So when uh, Ali Baba's wife went, of course, with Ali Baba to weigh the gold, a kind of gold coin stuck in one of the palms and when she returned back it means Ali Baba's wife returned back the scales the following day the next morning to Al Qasim's wife the last one it means Qasim's wife noticed it or found the gold coin stuck in the palms she told her husband immediately Al Qasim and they discussed it and they got to know that there is something concerning the gold that's why he headed towards Ali Baba's house and stressed on on him, squeezed him dry to tell him the truth. Ali Baba, of course, not easy, and he did not want to tell him the truth from the beginning. But when he was faced with this, with the with the reality that gold coin stuck in the pan, he could not deny it anymore. That's why Ali Baba told his brother Qasim 
the story about the cave and the horseman, the thieves. Here, Qasim just focused on the password. It means how to get into the cave. Open the sea same. Immediately the following day, greediness got his eyes blind. He urged ten donkeys with a huge chest and went or headed towards the king. Simply why? Simply why? Just to carry all the gold as much as he can on those ten donkeys. As you see there, there are two passages that we are going to tackle today, okay? The first passage starts from the word win and it ends to the word death. And the second passage starts from the word thieves and ends with Ali Baba. And of course, those two passages are going to be um, um, described, elaborated, by presenting the first, uh, all the difficult words. But first of all, we are going to read, fast reading, just to get updated with and to get uh, 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 acquainted, sorry, to get familiar with how to read, how to pronounce. This is just the first and fast reading. Now we are going to move to focus on the first passage. Then we are going to introduce or present the difficult with the keywords to translate it in Arabic language, to get to build our vocabulary through reading. Then we move to the first passage and try to um, 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 explain it, elaborate it word by word, phrase by phrase, sentence by sentence, to get the whole true understanding or comprehension from the text because the words if you take them uh, or 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 explain or translate or explain them by dictionary word by word separately from the context you will get maybe a different meaning sometimes because uh, here you are going to build your vocabulary inside the text inside the passage in the paragraphs later on you will discover that and in this case you will learn how to use correctly accurately in very appropriate place a uh, place those adjectives the verbs nouns and how to write this is strategic how to build vocabulary through reading and also enjoying reading and also increasing proving or pronunciation concerning english language by using rules phonetically and phonologically so let us move on to the first uh, a paragraph and as you see that is the first uh, paragraph or the first passage if you like to just like this concerning the whole of the story now i'm going to read please listen carefully and this is just a fast and a first reading stay with us and enjoy when Qasim did not come back, Ali Baba went to look for him. He found his brother's body hanging inside the cave and brought the body home. With the help of Marjana, Qasim's servant girl, they gave Qasim's good burial without anybody wondering about the cause of his death. This is the first and fast reading. We are going to repeat for the second time to move on to present the hard or difficult words. When Qasim did not come back, Ali Baba went to look for him. He found his brother's body hanging inside the cave and brought the body home. With the help of Marjana Qasim servant girl, they gave Qasim's good body without anybody wondering about the cause of his death. Now let us present the difficult words. Here we start with two columns. We will start from the column the column on the left side, of course, to read the words as they are, then we are going to uh, 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 present the words with a translation in Arabic language. On the left start, side, we'll start. Come back, look for, hanging, brought back, brought back, the body, with, the servant, gave, burial, without, Anybody, the cause, death. And on the right side, of course, there is a translation in Arabic language. To come back. To come back, this is a phrasal verb. Okay, because a verb, it just we find to come. But when we find a verb plus a preposition, this is called a phrasal verb. Okay, and this is very important in English language because if you master an as much as you use the phrasal verbs, that really measures the degree 
and the qualification of your English language. Pay attention to the phrasal verse. And also they conclude so many things you would like to describe by using just one phrasal verb. They are very important and carrying huge meaning and sufficient ones. To come back, it means ada or raja. To look for, it means bahathan. Of course, we have the verb to look. But here, this is a phrasal verb. As I said, a verb plus preposition for. To look for, to bring back. The same thing is phrasal verb. To bring back, but here, notice the verb to bring. The past of the verb to bring, it is irregular. It becomes brought. It is changed from I to this. I brought you, brought here, brought, etc. To bring, arja. To bring back arja. Also, we have the verb to hang. Notice here to hang. For example, you have clothes, you wash them, um, you was in washing machine, and you take them to the roof and all to hang. The body, al jism, not the bo, ba, ba, between a and o. And we have also a preposition called with. Here, notice with the المعجمه, not with the, with the, the. The tip of the tongue has upper teeth. It's important. And later we will make a lesson how to pronounce a little letters by showing you the articulation from the lips and the mouth and the teeth, upper and down. Also, we have the word the servant. It means the maid or servant. It's a maid also, M-A-D, M-A-I-D, or servant, khadima. Or khadim. Here, you know, adjectives in, in Arabic language, we can refer both to masculine and feminine. There is no problem, of course. We have also the verb to give, but the past it came, it becomes um, gave. It's a regular, of course. I gave you, gave, he gave, she gave, he gave, they gave, etc. There is no change. Burial, waratara, aw, defa. A tomb, wa, al, 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 We have also the word without, bidun. Without, without, the same thing, that mujama. Anybody, anyone, anybody. The cause, a sebab, the cause, the cause, etc. The death, no, no, we don't say the death and mouth. As I have said, that we are going to read now, to um, read slowly, of course, and to explain the words inside the passages and also the phrases, the sentences to make sure to understand deeply what this passage means. But first of all, look at the photos. You see there Ali Baba and Marjana. Marjana is a servant, is a maid, Khadima, in, of, in, in Qasim's house. Okay, but here Marjana will play a major role with Ali Baba. Let us discover what's going on. Listen, please. The first passage. When Qasim, when Indama, when H is silent, we don't pronounce H. When Qasim did not come back. Here notice the verb is to come back. And you know that to give negative or interrogative form of any verb in English language, I say verb, we need to use an auxiliary called to do. And since the story is built in the past here, to do becomes did. It is irregular. All right. So we give a negative form of come back. We said that come back, raja. So the passage did not come back, did not, not of negative form. So when Qasim did not come back, when Qasim did not come back, Ali Baba went to look for him. Ali Baba went. للبحث عنه كما تعلمون أن علي بابا ولا أن القاسم ولا جاء إلى الجهل بعشرة حمير محملة بسروج ضخمة أو بأقفاص كبيرة ليغتنم الذهب لكنه علق بنسيانه لماجيك ولا الكلمة السحرية وعندما تأخر علي بابا when قاسم did not come back علي بابا went to look for him ذهب علي بابا للبحث عن أخيه so here notice the comparison Qasim was mean, treated Ali Baba and his wife, his son, badly. Now, Ali Baba looked for his brother. Even if he treated me, he was mistreated. You know the difference? When Ali Baba, he 
He found his brother's body hanging inside the king brought the body home. He من تعوده على علي بابا. He found to find. He found وجد his brother's body جثة أخيه من يعني جثة القاسم علي بابا وجد جثة القاسم hanging معلقة inside داخل the cave ال الكهف and brought وجلب أو أرجع to bring brought the body الجثة إلى المنزل. So we'll repeat this. When Qasim did not come back, Ali Baba went to look for him. He found his brother's body hanging inside the cave and brought the body home. We continue. With the help of Mardana, Wabi Musa'adat, with the Wabi, with the help, Musa'adat, a help, Wabi Musa'adat, Marjana, of Marjana. Hunaka Kama Fasila, Menhiya Hadi Marjana. Qasim's servant girl, Al Fatat Al Khadima, Leda Qasim. No, Lepul Fasila. Now, what's the margin? Man, here, man, to put. Yeah, the way to write. How to write? Because when you read, you have to stop all punctuation because punctuation means everything. يعني مي حينما تقرأ يجب أن تتوقف عن الفاصلة أو النقطة لأنها تعني شيء ما إما المعنى أكتمل وإما شرح كما في هذه الحالة فاصلة قاسم سيرفنت فاصلة أو نك شرح فقط. They gave قاسم من they بمعنى علي بابا. And his wife, of course, Qasim's wife, servant, كلهم gave Qasim a good burial. بمعنى قاموا بجنازة جيدة. Good burial without بدون anybody, أي شخص wondering أن يتساءل أو أن يعرف حول about حول the cause and سبب of his death, سبب وفاته. So here you can take great lessons. We need, uh, of course, yes, there are symbols. There are more indicators here. It shows us how Ali Baba is great man. Ali Baba treated badly. Ali Baba suffered from uh, 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 difficulty in his life, and Al Qasim treated him badly. And even if Qasim. Uh, 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 found did Ali Baba reacted and behaved in great way. Ali Baba تصرف حتى في وفاة أخيه الذي كنا عملوا بشكل سيء تصرف في وفاة أخيه حتى بعد وفاة أخيه القاسم بشكل ممتاز حتى أنه لم يريد أقام له جنازة ولم يريد أن يكشف للناس سبب الموت. Now let us move. To the second passage. Stay with us and enjoy. As you see, this is the second passage, and of course, we are going to read the first and the first reading. Listen, please. The thieves found the body had gone, and soon realized that somebody else must know their secret. They set out to look for him in town. They came up with many plans to find the man. However, each time their plans were foiled by the clever Marjana. The thieves eventually found the house of the man they were looking for. They did not know his name, Ali Baba. Again, listen please. The thieves found that the body had gone and soon realized that somebody else must know their secret. They set out to look for him in town. They came up with many plans to find the man. However, each time their plans were foiled by the clever Marjana, the thieves eventually found the house or the man they were looking for. They did not know his name, Ali Baba. Don't worry, this is just a fast and a first reading. Now we are going to present the difficult words and its translation in Arabic language. Then we are going to reread again slowly and explain what does it mean this passage. Stay with us and enjoy. As you see, of course, there are two columns. Let us start from the column number one on the left side, Ali Jatli Yasar. 
read the keyword difficult words نقرأ الكلمات الصعبة فقط had gone had gone soon realized that somebody else must set out came up town many plans found however each time followed by clever eventually now we move to the colon on the right side and we explain what does those words or what do those words mean of course we have to have gone this is a, a present perfect but here we have had gone this is past perfect which means uh, an event that happened in the past and from the past and st still uh, continue to a certain amount or certain time had gone بمعنى اختفى او اندثى soon حالا to realize بمعنى ادرك that ذاك demonstrative pronoun somebody شخص ما somebody else شخص ما اخر must وجب to set out بمعنى خطط to come up to come up this uh, the verb to come at uh, but it is irregular in the past becomes came this is a phrasal verb, eta. Town, qarya. City, medina, town, qarya. Many, kathiran. Plans, mkhattatat. Plan, mkhattat. To find, wajda, found in the past. However, ma'adhalik, each, kul, time, al waqt To foil, by. Foiled, it is, this is a regular, we add ed in the past. Bimana ahbata. To foil, by. Clever. To foil, by. Foiled, by. Clever, the key, or habiq. Eventually, في النهاية. Now we are going to read to use those words in this translation Arabic language to understand what do they mean exactly. Stay with us. Okay, this is the last passage that we are going to explain in this lesson. Of course, Ali Baba and the servant uh, 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 Marjana did play a major role in the events or the end of uh, Qasim's life. Okay, and uh, of course with the thieves. As you see this passage here, let us read word by word. The thieves, Allosos, the thieves found, wajadu, that, anna, the body, al had gone, ikhtafat. Bimana anna humhina marajaru ila al kaf, Ali Baba, fil bidaya, wajadu dakhil kaf, katalu, taraku hunak, wadahabu, ila marajaru, lam yajidu al jutta. And soon of the hand, realize it, adraku, that and now somebody else, هناك شخص آخر, must know, من المفروض أنه كان يعلم, must know, their secret, يعلموا بسرين, كيف دخل وأخذ الجثة وخرج ولم يغلق عليه الباب كما وقع على القاسم, إذا هناك شخص يعلم كل شيء, هم تحققوا من ذلك عند اختفاء الجثة. They set out to look for him. وبالتالي وضعوا مخططا للبحث عنه. البحث عن علي بابا. وعلي بابا كان مشهورا بطبيعة الحال في وقته. They set out to look for him in town. في القرية. They came up with many plans. وقد خرجوا بمجموعة من المخططات. With many plans. كثير من المخططات. To find the man. ليجد الرجل. However. ومع ذلك. Each time, كل مرة, their plans, مخططاتهم, were foiled by, were foiled by, هنا مبني لمجول, هنا passive voice, not active voice, were foiled by, بمعنى أنها كانت تحبط, هذه المخطط التي كانوا يعملونها للبحث عن الرجل الذي أخذ الجثة, كانت تحبط, من الذي كان يحبطها, who did foil it up, or foil it by, the clever مرجانة. الحذقة والذكية مرجانة نعم The thieves eventually found the house في النهاية وجد اللصوص المنزل الذي كانوا يبحثون عنه Of the man they were looking for وجدوا منزل الرجل الذي كانوا يبحثون عنه They did not know his name أحلي بابا لكنهم لم يعلموا بأن اسم ذاك الرجل هو أحلي بابا 
The story will be continued next time and we will discover what will happen when they will know that his name is Ali Baba. What is going to be? Are they going to kill him? How is Ali Baba going to react? What about the servant when she detected the thieves? Stay with us next time. We're going to move on and to continue the story. Enjoy.